Okay, so I can't go to America and I can't stay in Ireland either, right? Wait, I can go where? Hell yeah, book it. I've spent the last two months off the grid back home in Ireland, basically living in the Shire. It's tough, but it's worth it for the view. But it's now time to go back to where I live and work in America. However, you just saw my travel expert tell me due to changing travel restrictions, I can no longer go into the US from Ireland. There is a ban on people coming in from Europe. So I can't go to the US and I can't stay in Ireland. Now there is one country I can go to, and that country is Turkey, a country I've never been to before, which is the perfect reason to go. We are now in Turkey. We just landed in Istanbul. Let's jump back a little bit. How did I get in this situation? I hadn't seen my family for more than a year due to the whole pandemic. So I decided I'd go home to Ireland long term. But eventually I had to get back to work in America. And you're not allowed to fly from Europe into America. Now the rules are literally changing day by day. For example, the day after I booked my flight to Turkey, Trump announced that he was actually changing the rules and Europeans were now allowed to fly in. Right away, Biden's team announced that they were not going to allow that to happen and they were going to block it. So while this pissing contest was going on between politicians, little old Connor's life was still up in the air. Literally, because I was on a flight to Turkey at this stage. So it just goes to show everything is changing day by day. So I have to take things day by day. Which, if you know me, is fine by me. Now, I don't know how long I have to go away for, but if I'm going to be forced to take a vacation, I'll take it. Because you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, screw lemonade, make a cocktail and go on vacation instead. So what's my plan? Well, if you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know I'm not a stranger to last minute travel. Welcome to Africa. Especially to countries I know nothing about. So what is the best way to travel with no planning and no research? Well, here's Connor Castle's tips for last minute traveling. First step, throw everything into a bag and probably overpack. Next, try to sweet talk the airline into giving you a free upgrade. Works 60% of the time, every, every time. time. But not this time. I must be losing my charm. First, grab some local cash out of the ATM at the airport, because you never know who you'll need to bribe. Next up, grab a taxi. However, this pretty blonde boy from Ireland just screams, charge me double, I'm a tourist. So I gotta bust out my negotiation skills and haggle a little. How, how much is it? 170 dollars. Accommodation? Well, you should probably plan ahead. At least plan a little more than me. This is cool. Because in this scenario, I only booked an Airbnb a day at a time. Which wasn't smart, but it did mean I got to see a number of hotels. We're in Turkey. We're in Istanbul. Now I had no idea how long I was going to have to spend in Turkey. However, I'm planning to stay here and explore this wonderful country for at least a few weeks. First stop is Istanbul, one of the coolest cities in the world. The only city that's on two continents, Europe and Asia. I saw the sights. I ate the food. He asked you want everything in it. I said, yeah, give me everything. I have no idea what's in it, but it tastes great. I have some Turkish coffee, some Turkish candy. I jumped on random ferry after random ferry. I didn't know the destination, where they were going, or how long the journey was. I would get on ferries in Europe and end up in Asia. That's not something I get to say every day. Okay, one of the coolest things about Istanbul is that it's where Europe and Asia meets. So. We've just gotten on a random ferry and we're just going to see where we end up. We could be still in Europe or we could end up literally in Asia. The history in this city is hard to beat. I explored Galata Tower, huge mosques, the biggest market in the world. The Grand Bazaar. One of the strangest things, I had this city to myself. I'm the only one at the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul. Usually thronged with people and tourists, for days I was the only person on the streets of Istanbul. But that's for another video. It's just me. And this little cat up here. While it can be tough and lonely to travel solo, it's worth it. Alright, now I'm lost and I can't find my hotel because all these streets are crazy. I watched the sun rise in Asia and set in Europe. I drank Turkish tea with old Turkish men. Ate baklava on the shores of the Bosphorus River. I think I could get used to these desserts. I had traditional kebab dinner by candlelight all by myself. Eh, uh, no. Lamb? No. Wow. 
Teshakur Ederim. Every day. I was ticking items off my bucket list daily. Istanbul is one of the most amazing cities I've ever seen. Napoleon even said, if the earth were a single state, Istanbul would be its capital. So while being locked out of my home in America is inconvenient, I've decided to make the most of this amazing opportunity. What's next? Well, I'm going to get off the beaten path of Turkey. I'm going to rent a car and road trip this bitch. Stick around for an amazing adventure, because there's a lot of cool places to see.